Hello, I'm Ahmad Nas. I'm an ALM and TFS consultant. Today we're going to talk about introduction to Credit UI tests with Visual Studio Ultimate 2012. Credit UI tests provide a way to fully create automated tests to validate the functionality and behavior of your application's user interface. In this lab, you will gain a basic understanding of Credit UI tests by creating a new test and adding a validation logic to it. Prerequisites is to have Visual Studio 2012 virtual machine that's provided by Microsoft. You need to have understanding of manual testing and action recording. To learn more about manual testing and action recording, please see authoring and running manual tests using Microsoft Test Manager 2012 lab. We have here three exercises. First will be introduction to code generation from action recording. Second is introduction to code generation using Code UI Test Builder. Third, data driven demonstration for Code UI Test. The first exercise, introduction to code generation from action recording, you will be introduced in the Visual Studio 2012 code generation features that allow testers to quickly and easily create Code UI tests directly from existing action recordings. Action recording contains steps taken during manual testing of an application. Now let's start. I will log in here to the virtual machine by Julia and the password is P capital 2 SSWZORD. I will now launch the Visual Studio 2012 Ultimate. I will now connect to the Team Foundation server. I will now choose Tailspin Toys Collection. Click on Connect. Yes. I will now create a new test, a new Code UI test project. File new project. We'll choose C sharp. Test Code UI test project. There are two ways to generate code for this new Code UI test. The first and default option is to use Code UI Test Builder, which allows you to generate test code by manually walking through a test scenario. The second option is to use an existing action recording, which we're going to select now. Click OK. I will choose here a work item that already contains an action recording. I will enter 41 and click on Find. And now click OK. What happens now is there is a code being generated out from the action recording that was made for this work item. Now, if you can see here, the coded UI test method 1 contains actually the steps that was recorded in this test case. We can navigate to the definition of the first one, the first step, right click, go to definition. This will load the UI map class from the UI map designer, which contains the generated test logic. This generated method launches to explore and navigate to a specific URL. We'll now scroll down to the click forth coffee flyer method. This generated method tests clicking on a fourth coffee flyer hyperlink that is in the Telespain Toys web application. The click forth coffee flyer test method does not specify the hyperlink parameters directly, but instead refers to the UI fourth coffee flyer hyperlink property. We can navigate to it by right click and go to definition to this to see this property implementation. This HTML hyperlink instance that's created for the UI false coffee flyer hyperlink property has a number of search and filter properties applied that aid the test framework in locating the correct HTML hyperlink. 
In the event that the web application changes some of the link properties such as inner text, the test harness may still be able to find the hyperlink using the remaining search properties. Now we're gonna right click somewhere in the coded UI test and select run tests. When you do this, please don't touch the mouse or keyboard during the tests. As the tests run, an instant of Inter Explorer will be opened and actions automatically taken as they are defined in the coded UI test. The test runs more than once because the original manual test that this coded UI test was generated from had multiple rows of test parameters. And now, as you can see, the tests have passed successfully. Now, this is the end of exercise 1. Now, go to exercise 2, which is Introduction to Code Generation using Coded UI Test Builder. In this exercise, you will learn how to use the Coded UI Test Builder to generate test code for the Telespin Toys web application and to modify the generated code in order to enable data driven testing. Let's start. I will open it to Explorer and click on Tells Pen Toys button from the preview bar. Select Model Airplanes link and then click on Fourth Copy Flyer link and click on Add to Cart. Now I will go back to Visual Studio and in the Coded UI test method I will come after that click on Watch Space in the website and click on Enter. And this Watch Space I will right click and choose generate code for coded UI tests and select use coded UI test build. This will load for me the coded UI test builder window. The coded UI test builder is used to record actions and assertion within the user interface which are then converted to code. Now we will add an assertion to verify that the quantity text box is equal to 1. We will drag drop the crosshair from the coded UI test builder tool window onto the quantity text box in the explorer. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna select the text property. Here it is. And click on add a session. And I will agree for the R equal 1. As you can see that there is a white mark next to the text which means that I have another assertion for it. I will now click on generate the code. I will give them uh, the method a name quantity equals 1 then click on add and generate now I'm gonna close the good UI test builder I will now go and remove the item and close the text pool now as you can see the quantity equals 1 method is now in the place that we want it to be now let's try and run the tests and see what will happen. Now as you can see the test has passed and this is the end of exercise 2. Exercise 3 data driven demonstration for credit UI test. In this exercise we will add another set of test parameter values to the test case in order to demonstrate that these test parameters are hooked up to the credit UI test and that the validation that we recently added in is performing as expected. 
now let's start I will now go and launch Microsoft Test Manager I will now click on the test tab I will now select the first test case the ID41 and then click on open test case button now in the parameter value section at the bottom I will add a new row with quantity of 10 I will now click on save and close and we'll go now to the Visual Studio right click and run test and see what will happen Now as you can see that the test has failed. Let's expand this. Click on the method. Now say that the problem is with the data row 3. It was expected 1 but the actual value was 10. Now when you scroll down it tells us that all the other values has passed. So as we can see, we only have a problem with one data row from the test parameters. Now this was the end of exercise 3 and the end of the lab. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.